Hello, my name is Mike Knudstrup, and today we're talking about the external environment. And by that, we don't mean the weather, all right, sunny, cloudy, or whatever, but uh, we're talking about the business environment, okay, forces and institutions that, that may affect a business, media, the government, and that sort of thing. All right, I'm going to get my pointer going here so we can move ahead. <clears throat> All right, so the, inst the external environment, forces and institutions outside that potentially can affect the organization's performance. What elements? Well, the environment is specific and general. Specific environment are those uh, institutions or forces that definitely will affect a company. Say if you're in the airline industry, Certainly, the uh, the fuel industry, uh, petroleum industry, is in your specific environment. If you're in the airline industry, the media may or may not be whether or not you get on the radar. So you're more in the media might be in more in your general environment if you are in the airline industry or the transportation industry. Uh, a key key thing here, a key point to remember is. Managers tend to scan, scan the environment, all right? There's just too much information out there for them to be continually looking. But say like a, a top leader gets the Wall Street Journal, all right? They're not going to read the Wall Street Journal from front to back, you know, cover to cover. They're going to scan for things that are relevant to them, you know, competition or like the airline industry, uh, elements Okay, suppliers, for example. But managers scan the environment, the specific environment, very closely, and the general environment, kind of more like skimming through a newspaper. Key element of the environment is how much uncertainty is there. Okay, uncertainty is affected by the complexity or the number of parts and the amount of change in those components. Okay, how many parts does your environment have? Automakers, all right, maybe they have a fairly complex environment. They have suppliers, they have customers, they have com competitors the worldwide around. You know, again, back to that fuel thing. Fuel relates to automakers. So it's a complex environment and it's changing fairly rapidly. Maybe not as rapidly as like the computer industry, but there's a fair amount of environmental uncertainty here. So you know, what, why does it matter? High or low uncertainty for a manager? Well, when you have low uncertainty, it's fairly easy to predict the way the future is going to be. It's going to be close to what it has been in the past. If there's a lot of uncertainty, who knows what's going to happen? Makes it very difficult to plan. Probably makes your job a little more stressful as well. You know, like this guy, I don't know. He's a little pensive, I think. Kind of concerned. All right. So who are those elements out in the environment? These are known as stakeholders. All right. Groups that are that that are affected or may be affected by the organization and in turn can affect an organization. In the past, you know, it was a fairly simple deal. Uh, maybe we had shareholders, you know, people who own stock in the company. All right, and there were maybe our, our owners were our primary stakeholders, and some of these others took second stage or third or weren't even a consideration. You know, nowadays it's very complex for managers. The environment is the different stakeholders. They got to be concerned with any one of these groups can potentially shut a, shut an organization down. Political action groups. You're probably familiar with like uh, Greenpeace. You know, or PETA, People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals. If you get on these folks' radar and they decide to start picketing or giving you bad publicity, customers are going to shy away. All right. Trade associations uh, can make, well, in general, tend to lobby and try to make things easier for you or get laws that pass in your association's favor. Of course, if it's in another industry, they can make it tougher for you to do business. You know, the media, if all of a sudden they concentrate on bad things your company's doing, you're all over the news, the Internet, and customers or maybe even government will step in and regulate you more, you or your industry. Communities can make it difficult to do business. 
many a Walmart, you know, has been turned down because the local community doesn't want them there and is concerned about uh, maybe running the small mom and pops out of business. Unions can drive up the prices of your labor, strikes and the like. And of course, employees are a very important uh, stakeholder. Okay. And that you want your employees to be happy and motivated. All right, a little review quiz here uh, about the environment. What's the difference between the specific and general environment? Well, the specific has easy and direct impacts on the organization. The general environment may, and managers scan the general environment for things that might affect their organization. What causes environmental uncertainty? What causes environmental uncertainty? All right, it's the degree of change and the complexity or the number of components. All right, that leads up to environmental uncertainty. Who are a few organizational stakeholders? Groups who are affected by or may affect the organization. Can you remember a few? Can you give me five? I can think of a few right off the bat. All right, we just finished talking about employees. We've got Customers, we have unions, we have the media, we have political action groups, we have trade associations. Oh, I'm missing a few here as I think. Um, we have, did I mention communities, competitors, combust, combust, com <coughs> excuse me, customers and the like. All right, the thing about stakeholders is it is much more complex than it used to be. I think I forgot stuff. Uh, Shareholders, people own stock, but it's much more complex than it used to be. Managers have to manage these relationships and maybe make trade-offs and do the best they can to keep the most people happy. All right, so that's the uh, business environment. Again, this is concepts that are fairly universal, but uh, come directly from Robinson Coulter principles of management. Principles of management as well.